Here we are in the Super GP clinic of Ipswich once again, well over one year later in the crisis of 2020 in the global virus scare, debunk the whole world or bunker down. Look at this for the male toilets in Ipswich Super GP clinic in Ipswich, not to mention the hotels, pubs, clubs, and take the advice from the chief health medical officer of a state or a nation. Seriously, look at this. Do you see a lid? Now what is it to cover your mouth or wash your hands to understand three liters worth of pressure, six liters worth of pressure, right? X, Y, Y, X, whatever you want to call it. What is it to press that button and have health implications? Well, well what do you reckon related for all the old stuff to fall out of you? All of your sickness, all of your internal God knows what, press the button and say, don't go in for 35, 45 minutes. I told them a year ago, I didn't cut sick here, just for the kids to go in there. The thought of it, in a, in a super GP clinic, a general practitioner's facility, which was all rolled out by the government to take the pressure off the hospitals. Here we are, in a world like this, this is the male toilet, not to mention the actual unisex toilet, didn't have a lid on it, I just went in there for God knows what. Here we are, male toilet. What am I supposed to do? Even take myself seriously? I am supposed to be responsible, like everybody else in the community. Now watch me go out there and ask that question specifically to an integrity officer, some building owner, some superintendent, or to take a health professional seriously, then take their advice. I mean, we know we flattened this curve, the spike, it's enormous. But here we are in an A grade situation, years on end, decades in the business, the world leaders in God knows what they want to put a chest pin, a Mickey Mouse badge, and any form of uniform, you know, uniformality, the works correspond, auditory round systems, and this is how they live. If I press that button, what's the chances that I get sick just for being in here? You serious? You serious? You kidding me? You kidding me? Today's date, mind you, is in fact the 21st of April 2020. We're four days away from Anzac Day anyway. Anyway. Here we go. Excuse me, hi. Excuse me. Sorry. Can I just ask? Um, because about a year ago I did voice up. Um, we're all asked to cover up. There's no lids on the toilets. I said we're all asked to cover up these days. There's no lids on the toilets. Can anyone explain that in Queensland? The hospitals, pubs, clubs. A lot of these places have no lids on toilets. It's a massive health risk. Take the initiative. Go to Bunnings. Put some seats on it. Even if they get broken and do it 10 times a year. I asked a year ago, nobody's even done anything in a year in a super GP oh, clinic. Right, look, it's a I'll argue with you all day. Oh, you need to get a lid on those toilets. I think we all know, given today's circumstances, right over. Now, there we go. So if people want to go ahead and flush their three litres and six litres and cause a potent outbreak, go ahead. You need to put lids on that toilet. Yeah, no, you're right. Sit there, sicko. That's what we call sickness. Walked out of that super GP clinic here in Ipswich. Brought into, uh, see Riverlink? What's that? Riverlink? Yeah? For over a year now, I've told them to put seats, uh, lids on those seats. What a health risk to not put seats, uh, lids on toilet seats. They just stood there and didn't even have anything to say. They could, they literally couldn't respond until some member of the public was like, you don't want to hear it. Tell them to sit there, sicko. All told to bunker down, a health officer, really? Pubs, clubs, hotels, all over the place. Have no lids on seats. What is it for people to be taking that seriously? Shut your hole, fasten your lip. Close your mouth, fix your twit, disassemble your weapon, disengage your oral contraption. Yeah, we got that. Three litres of water, let alone six litres of water, is one hell of a goddamn bomb. What do you think a tortoise is on to do? 
just stare at it. Now it's designed to disperse sick or just off uh, what do you call it? Dispose of sickness. Fancy if you just threw it back at you in a super GP clinic. Hell, 10 bucks for a seat. 10 times a year is 100 bucks to ensure people's safety, but nah, your entire life has been built around probably not even putting lids down on your toilet seats. Yeah, I don't know, you, you, you probably got a dolphin tat and a transformer fucking mask too. You call that tribal. It's a bit like the way you lay down two faggots under a blanket, but understand one's got a match. I cannot remember what made us think that we were... Paul Lockyer in far western Queensland for ABC News. know how she feels. Doubt it. Story of your life. Will you still love me tomorrow, architect? Will you still love me tomorrow, Holocaust?